This has been a busy and emotional time. Our youngest son was accepted aboard the prestigious school ship Gon. MS Gon is based in Stavanger, Norway, which is a 10 hour drive from home. Never would I have imagined that my 15 year old would leave the nest so soon. I know that his future is bright and I find comfort in that. Before driving to Stavanger, Tommy and I harvest and process this year's honey. Be sure to listen to that awesome sticky sound and see how we get the honey out of the frames. We also spent a few days on the insanely beautiful beaches in Yaren. The ocean was just what I needed. I had some time to reflect on the fact that our son would not be coming home with us. Instead, he is off on an adventure of a lifetime and I can't wait to show you life aboard a Norwegian school ship. The summer in the south of Norway is slowly coming to an end. It is starting to get dark at night, and the weather is cooler as the fall approaches. Soaking up all of the lush green colors, I even spotted a large moose passing by. To be honest, I will miss the summer. I enjoy walking through the tall grass and admire the contrast between the yellow ochre fields and the royal blue skies. The bees have done their job pollinating the apple trees in the bee yard, and soon I will be able to bite into a juicy red apple picked directly from the branch. How do you feel about the changing seasons? Do you take the time to look up and examine the leaves gently blowing in the sunlight? I know that when I get away from man-made noises and listen to the sounds of meditative nature, it helps me to feel as though I am connected to this universe, the way it was meant to be. Everyone has to choose their own path in life. It isn't always easy. Sometimes we even get a little lost on our journey. But in the end, we always find our way back to our own true self. The right path for me may not be the right path for you. What matters are the individual experiences along the way and how they shape us. Life changes, just as the seasons. My children are getting older. Helping them to find their way has been my biggest priority as their mom. They know that I will always be there for them, although it is so hard to let go. These last three weeks have been busy, to say the least. After harvesting our honey, it was time to process it. <laughs> Go on, just there. Oh, our oldest son came to help us, and it was nice to work together with him. The bees spent the summer collecting pollen and nectar. They store all of the nectar together in tiny wax cells. Then they fan their wings to dry it until the moisture level is 18%. The workers then put a layer of wax on top of each individual cell with nectar to preserve it indefinitely. Somehow the bees know how to keep the honey from fermenting. Scientists still do not fully understand the complex nature of the bees. I love that sticky sound. Yeah. There we go. Ah, the other side. 
Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not full. It's not f completely capped. So we will measure the, the water content. We remove the capped wax from the honey. Then we put the frames into the honey extractor. The machine spins them around like magic. The golden delicious honey begins to pour out, through a strainer and into a bucket. Delightful, fragrant summer honey. We will bring the empty frames back to the bees to lick clean and prepare for their winter storage of sugar syrup. This is our setup, a 2003 Mitsubishi L200 with almost 200,000 miles on the engine, and a retro hobby caravan from 1988. Tommy installed a beefy solar panel on the roof. We have an inverter that converts electricity to be able to run our computers and small electrical devices. More or less, our rolling studio. This camper is off-grid. We have a porta potty running water, propane heater, and a gas stove. It's not the fanciest rig, but it serves our purposes. We can get around and experience this beautiful country. This time we are going on a two-week road trip to deliver our youngest son to Stavanger. He was accepted aboard the best maritime school ship in the world the Norwegian school ship, gone. Sometimes the roads in Norway can be challenging. They are often windy, narrow and steep. There are tunnels both through the mountains and under the sea. I can't see. Remember, during the winter, they are full of snow and very slippery and can often be closed. But it is summer and we are on the mountain passage called Sirdal. This is an example of just how narrow the roads can be. Thank goodness Tommy was driving, because backing up with the caravan on a steep road is not my cup of tea. The tractor trailer just barely squeezed by us. But Norway is an adventure, and I definitely don't want to miss out. Was this close? <laughs> yeah.
We stopped for the night at this little fishing village. You would not believe how happy I was to spot this seafood vendor. Fresh shrimp and hard shell crabs caught fresh that day. We live so far from the ocean, I was just so happy to eat seafood. <laughs> I found my card, it was here. <laughs> Did you lose your card? Yeah, it was here. <laughs> it's handy. It's handy. It was so nice to have a few days to spend quality time with our son. The boys did some fishing and I enjoyed observing them together from the beach. These are the memories I will cherish forever. This is an exciting time in our son's life. His adventures at sea have begun, and both Tommy and I know he is in really good, loving hands. School Ship Gone is quite unique. The school was founded in 1947 and is accredited to be the best maritime school in the world. The ship is 355 feet long and 52 feet wide. There are seven decks and she was built in 1982. There are 135 students aboard Gong. During the summer months, Gong takes 220 tourists up and down the Norwegian coast and abroad. Marcus will experience this fantastic country in and out of fjords with breathtaking nature. They may also visit Sweden, Denmark, Germany, Great Britain, Faroe Islands and Shetland Islands. His education will be hands-on, working side by side his classmates, crew and teachers, and more than likely will make friends for life with his family aboard school ship Gone. Not only do they teach teenagers to be seamen, they shape both girls and boys to become responsible, respectable adults. Yep, they will have to clean their own toilets and make their beds every day. Students aboard Gone are at the top of the shipping company's list of applicants, and all students that work hard are guaranteed work in the future. His days and nights aboard Gone are filled with routines and focus on safety aboard. Marcus has his own cabin and he will learn to wash his own clothes and iron his uniform. He will also spend time in the engine room getting his hands into everything technical, which is right up his alley. School ship Gone recently upgraded its engines to diesel-electric propulsion meaning he will receive a state-of-the-art education in clean energy which is environmentally friendly. This is such a blessing for Marcus and we are his biggest cheerleaders. It will be such a hard transition only seeing him in school holidays. He is such an incredible young man and we are so unbelievably proud of his accomplishments. After Marcus was established on the ship, Tommy and I spent a few days on the beaches of Yaren, outside of Stavanger. Yaren is the largest lowland area in Norway. The coast is flat compared to the rest of the very mountainous Norwegian coast, and it has sandy beaches along most of the coastline. To say the least, the landscape was not expected. It is not typical Norwegian. The green farmlands almost kiss the sea. I bet the surfers enjoy these waves. I love the sound of the ocean. 
and the way the sand caresses my feet. It is so interesting to see the river pour gently into the sea. Carrying nutrients to the fish, the river supplies large quantities of water from land to ocean. Seawater constantly evaporates. The water cycle replenishes the earth's supply of fresh water, which is essential for all living things. I have much to contemplate, and I suppose the true empty nest feeling will not really hit me until I get home from this adventure. I'm sure all of you parents with teenagers venturing out into the world can relate. This is not easy. But knowing your child has a bright future mends the wounds of heartache, one day at a time. I let the rolling water erase my worries and troubles, feeding me with hope and positivity. For those of you also experiencing the empty nest at home, be kind to yourself, keep in touch with your kids, and embrace their happiness. Help them through their challenges. You are still needed. Big hugs from me to you. If you would like to see our channel grow, please sign into YouTube and subscribe to our channel. The more subscribers we have, the faster we will succeed in making a living, doing what we love, filming and editing for you, our dear viewers. Thanks so much for watching.